Representative, good, uh, good to see you. Thanks for the time. Glad to be with you, Jason. Let's talk about this bill. It's House Bill 1058. It, it essentially says undocumented people living in Texas would, would have to take a driver's ed course, but not the driver's ed test is the way I read the legislation. Explain this for us. What's the rationale behind it? Well, I think that we have somewhere between one and a half to two and a half million undocumented people driving our streets today without the ability to even identify themselves and certainly not ever taking a driver's course. We want to make sure that if they're driving on our streets, that they've had that opportunity. And we're, we're really thinking about the police officers that might at some point pull that person over. What's their life like? What is their initial reaction when someone says, I don't have a driver's license and I really can't identify myself. I think that's a public safety issue with everything that police officers have to deal with today. That's one of the things that I think we can eliminate. You know, and my heart goes out to all those fathers that are going out either to either drop off their daughter or son at a school and they see a police officer and they just get nervous with fear that they're going to get pulled over and that they might not be able to come back and see their family that evening. So they live in fear. Police officers have some fear when folks aren't able to identify. And all Texans pay when you think about all of us know what uninsured motorists are. All right. So just because they can't identify, we've got so many that are um, uninsured right now. You, you've introduced this before. It hasn't passed over the last couple of sessions. What makes you think that this session might be any different and you might have any more luck on it? Well, number one, Dade Phelan was chair of state affairs last year, and he was very open and willing to listen to the, to the legislation. He gave me a good hearing on it. Time ran out. Now he's speaker of the House. Uh, I believe that he's a different type of speaker. Uh, he's a young man that knows he wants to continue to drive the Texas economy. Look, without a doubt, Texas construction workers drove the Texas economy throughout this pandemic. Essential workers have kept us going at great risk to themselves. A lot of those folks are those ex these exact same folks that haven't been able to identify. This is a public safety issue. I've talked to him about it. He seems open to the idea of at least hearing it again, making sure that it gets heard. And, you know, you never know. This might just be the year that, you know, attitudes change. And I'm hoping it is. I want to ask you completely a, a different topic, expanding Medicaid. We've talked to State Senator Nathan Johnson, a Dallas Democrat, about that as well, too. Do, there seems to be some indication that there might be some traction or some movement on that this session. There, there's already, you know, Republicans have always said that, you know, we don't think it's, it's done right. It's going to end up costing Texas. But now other Republican states have already expanded Medicaid. Will that yeah. happen here this session? Well, I think a true fiscal conservative would say, I'm not going to continue to send billions of dollars to Washington and not expect to get some of that in return. This is all going to be, I believe, in the end, in the hand of Governor Abbott. He has never been a fan of Obamacare. It's the Affordable Care Act. It keeps people healthy. We have 18.4% of Texans that are uninsured. This COVID pandemic is, going to, is causing an amazing bill to every single one of us Texans that are paying taxes here. It, it just makes sense. I'm glad that during the election season in November, Republicans were warming up to the idea of getting those dollars back. Now we just need them to act. So let's hope that they, you know, put their money where their mouth is and, you know, do the do the walking after they did the talking. All right. A lot to watch for this session. Representative Ramon Romero, good to see you. Thank you for having me on, Jason.